Hey guys, welcome to another new video. So the group stages of Capcom Cup start today. And Capcom tweeted that a new build of the game with Ed will be available to play at the Capcom Cup venue. But it's not just Ed that you can test. If you haven't been active on Twitter, there also seems to be changes made to other characters in the game. So let's start with the first character on the list, and that's JP. So people have noticed that there have been changes made to OD Amnesia, but we can only confirm one of them. And that is the OD Amnesia damage scaling. If you compare the same combo from the current build of the game and the clip posted on Twitter, then you can notice that the combo on the newer build does half as much damage as it does on the current build. The second change that people have been talking about is how OD Amnesia now has lower active frames than before, but going by the video on Twitter, we can't really confirm that, and there's no training mode in the version that's being showcased. Next up on the list is Jamie. Capcom has given Jamie yet another way to increase his drink level. So basically, he can get another drink by holding down the throw button after a forward throw. Now from the video, it's unclear if he can do this without any drink levels, but if it was the case, then I think it would have been mentioned in the tweet. The second change is that now Jamie keeps his drink levels after using a level 2, which means that if he had any drink levels before he used a level 2, he will still keep them after level 2 is over, unlike before where he started from 0 again. And now we have Ryu. We've only seen one change to Ryu so far, and that's the Hashogeki. Currently, Light Hashogeki is punishable on block. It's minus 4, so it can be punished with jabs, but in the newer build, we can see that it's safe on block. Changes have also been seen to Heavy Hashogeki, where he used to be out of throw range when the opponent blocked the Heavy Hashogeki, but now he seems to be still in throw range. The next change we have is for Zangief. Unlike Street Fighter V, Street Fighter VI Zangief didn't have the ability to combo into his level 3 from hits, but as we can see from the updates from Twitter, he does have the ability to cancel and combo into his level 3 from EX Lariat. Now we're not sure if this means that he can also combo into his level 3 from regular hits, but that would be a pretty good change for Geef. The final change I have right now is for Ken. As of now, the only change we've seen with Ken is that there is a little bit more distance between him and the opponent when he does a forward throw, so he has to manually time his throw loop just like Aki. There have been more updates, but it's more about things being left unchanged, like DJ Sway still not being punishable and Luke still having his throw loop. I might have missed a few changes here and there, because there are a lot of people who are at the Captain Cup venue and they must have checked out more characters. So if there's something that I missed out, do let me know in the comments. And if there are more updates tomorrow, more changes to characters, then I'll make another video. Now, if you guys have watched till the end of the video, then feel free to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.